I'm gonna try to do this real quick. A lot of y'all are fucking mad because you can't get your cake and eat it too. You're looking for the new Derek Jackson. You're looking for the new Derek Jackson. It was all great and comfortable when he was there, he was available, but now we know that Derek then lost his credibility. So everybody right now is like, who is the person that we're going to run to for our empowerment? I'm gonna tell you why y'all mad at Kevin Samuels. You mad at Kevin Samuels because he will not tailor his message to cater to you. And the fact that he is talking to men saying that, you know what? I'm not just going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what you need to hear. I'm going to tell you how you need to raise the bar. I'm going to tell you how you need to evaluate the person that you're dealing with. See, this is why a lot of people are mad right now, because they know that they can't raise the bar that high. Oh, oh, goddamn, this is too much weight. This is too much goddamn pressure. Motherfucker, you don't be telling people that I need to have a good credit score. You don't tell them that I need to have my own house by the age of a goddamn certain age. You don't tell them I need to be educated. Hold on. You don't tell them I need to be refined. You don't tell them that, goddamn it, because you're making it hard for me, goddamn it. I can't just run up on a female and be any old type of way. I, a female can't just run up on me and be any old type of way. That's why people are mad at Kevin Samuels. They want the message to be delicate. They want the message to be refined. They want the message to be smooth. No, take this goddamn shot of Patron without a chaser. Take this goddamn 161 or 151 without a chaser, goddammit. Let that shit burn. Let it get into the roots, into the chest. You know what I'm saying? And, and get this motherfucking message. You want someone to tailor a message and you want someone to say so politely. You want someone to hug you and, and, and stroke your hair. And at this particular time, no. It's 2021, motherfucker. We don't go, we went through a pandemic, still going through a pandemic. People waiting on a stimulus check that ain't never uh, fucking come. Goddamn, people are sick, dying, laid off from work. People are struggling out here. And you want someone to cater to your funky ass. Let me be real with you. Yes, I'm about to piss somebody off. You want someone to tailor a message to you to make you feel good instead of you sitting your ass down and saying, I need to step my game up. I need to motherfucking live my best life and stop living it under the worst conditions. You made a lot of excuses in 2020 and 2019 and 2018 about all the things that you were going to accomplish, all the things that you was going to do. And you've been procrastinating for years, but you've been listening to Derrick Jackson. Happy as fuck. Derek is empowering me. Oh, Lord, and he's fine. Oh, Lord, right? But then you found out that not only was he a narcissist and he was toxic, that he was lying his ass off. So now it's like, who's going to be the next Derek Jackson? Because I still need that uh, empowerment. I see a lot of y'all leaning towards Ace Metaphor. I'm a little concerned about that. I'm, wait I'm waiting for him to be exposed, to be honest with you. But I think he's, tr he's treading water lightly now, right? However... A lot of y'all were comfortable with a message as long as it stroked your ego. No one was complaining when Derek Jackson was empowering women to straighten up their crown, but not communicating with, not communicate with their man or, or with their husband, not to build with him. He didn't have enough potential. He wasn't a grown man. He wasn't doing what he was supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? Hey girl, don't worry about him. He, he ain't man enough for you. If he fucks up, then he fucked up. Okay, we're not going to give him a second chance. So now Derek is under fire from the rhetoric that he's been pushing out against a lot of men for years. And he don't know how to deal with it. His back against the wall and he don't know how to motherfucking deal with it. And I hate to see a grown man cry. Derek Jackson, stop crying. We don't want to hear that shit. We don't want to buy your books, player. Listen, when you leave, don't come back. When you leave, motherfucker, don't come back. Go fix your motherfucking marriage. Go empower your wife. Fix her crown, Derek. Fix her crown. Her crown is crooked, brother. Stop having your wife come on here and try to don't save him. He don't want to be saved. Don't save him. He don't want to be saved. I'm just saying. He don't want to be saved. That motherfucker went online with his wife and said that God is altering our lives. We're more in line with the Lord. Got off of that shit and called his mistress and say, look, babe, let me tell you the truth. I'm just doing this shit for some coins. I'm trying to save my goddamn checks. Huh? I'm trying to save my check. I'm trying to live my best life. 
So we don't respect that. All that throwing God and the Lord and all of that other stuff in there. You know, not that we don't believe in God, but damn, dude, if you believed in God, you damn sure wouldn't be using his name in vain, but you happily use his name in vain. You was proudly using his name in vain. Matter of fact, your wife even got on there and put on a damn knitted wool hat. You know, people's calling it a bonnet. But I mean, talking about this is the armor of God. Now, I've never seen nobody do that. Kudos to her. I never seen nobody do that before. I'm highly impressed. Maybe she should get a channel where she's sitting in, in, in Derek Jackson's car in front of the mistress house and, and saying, I'm wearing the armor of God before I go in this house and drag this motherfucker. <laughs> the armor of the Lord. You see how I did my fingers? The Lord. But I'm just saying, man, look, man, we, we tired of all the craziness. We tired of the nonsense. We tired of motherfucking all of these false hopes. We tired of people catering messages to motherfucker. Oh, I'm just going to empower women today. Bruh, they, he empowered women and stalked them at the same time and allegedly sat in the car and was playing with itself while motherfuckers was in sur surgery trying to save people's lives. I don't know how much more disgusted you could get. But I'm telling you right now, some of y'all looking for the next Derek Jackson and I'm laughing and it's funny because I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm about to hurt somebody's feelings. Yeah, I'm backing up and I'm talking. Um, But I got cameras for that. Um, Look at the sun gleaming and off my milk dud. <laughs> but listen, listen, some of y'all are looking for the next Derek Jackson. You're looking for someone to empower you to the state of delusion. You're looking for somebody to say you don't do no wrong. It is someone else's fault. Deflect, deflect, deflect. And you're going to find yourself in the same predicament that you're finding yourself now. Right now. Embarrassed. Embarrassed. Pissed off, run them up, led astray, bamboozle. Looking ridiculous. How many Derek Jackson talking points did you use against that man? Right? Did, did somebody walk up onto you and say, hey, how you doing? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Derek said, uh-uh, to be mindful of people like you. For real. How many baby mamas you got? What's your credit score? You ain't got no house yet. You ain't got no college degree. Derek Jackson said... So, fellas, the next time somebody say Derek Jackson, ah! right? As soon as Derek Jackson, ah! just, just you ain't gotta make contact with their face, but make sure that you like you you shake your hand like you make it. Ah! That's how you curve a motherfucker. <laughs> you better not tell me no Derek Jackson talking point. Now, I'm not shooting the message. But I'm damn sure shooting the messenger because a lot of you all were priding yourself on listening to a man that was running y'all astray. And now you want to condemn any man that is empowering other men and also telling women, guess what? The blunt truth. You don't want to hear the blunt truth. That is the problem with men and women today. You don't want someone telling you the blunt truth. Not being a troll, not being toxic, not being a narcissist, but telling you, listen, fix your shit. Get your shit in order before you start looking out and calling out and all this other. Make sure that your shit is good. I'm not saying you got to be perfect. No, 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 no. I'm saying that if I'm going to sit here and make sure all the queens are good, well, I'm going to make sure my fucking queen is good. I'm gonna, oh, all the children. I got to save all the children because, you know, that's my mission. I got to save all the children. Make sure your children are good. Oh, I got to save all the men. It's a mission. I got to talk to all the men. Well, make sure you as a man are healthy. You're physically, emotionally, financially good. And that's the thing. I think that when it comes to being physically, emotion, emotionally, financially, spiritually good, we don't take the time to work through that process. We don't take the time to reevaluate ourselves and make sure that we are good. We don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck. We go day to 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 day. And we don't look left and right and say, man, are we really fucking okay? Do we have a support system that's saying, hey, bro, are you good, ma'am? Are you straight? No, we continuous to go. And it's like I said, it sounds good to have those Derek Jackson sitting in their vehicle just like this. Well, not just like this. Mine's a little bit better. But the fact of the matter is, um, just sitting there and just big up in women. Girl, ain't nothing wrong with you. That's a fuck boy. He a fuck nigga. He a toxic. He's a narcissist. He's this, he's that, he's this, he's that. He's everything undeserving of you. You're the prize. 
Well, if Kevin Samuel sit down and say, you know what? You're both the prize. You knuckleheads are both the prize. That, that, that's, the, that's the problem. You knuckleheads. You, you ever have, look, you ever seen a, a children fight like men, uh, little boys and little girls go at it, and you got to sit down and say, hey, 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 hey. sit, y'all like, hey, 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 sit down. Y'all both wrong. Y'all both some knuckleheads. I love y'all, but y'all both some goddamn knuckleheads. Y'all both need to work this out. Y'all both need to share. Y'all both need to think through this process. Y'all both need to love each other and respect each other. Y'all both need to take the time and shut the hell up and listen to one another. Bro, no disrespect. No disrespect. I'd rather have someone like that than to say, oh, well, oh, she's right and you're totally wrong. He's right and you're totally wrong. Bro. For those people that need to hear someone always telling them that they're right, they always going to be wrong. If you don't know what this is, know who this is. I'm Mario J. This is Tough Love. Stop looking for the next Derek Jackson and start looking for somebody that's going to tell your ass the motherfucking truth. Peace. Adult up. See you later.